morning everybody today I do my own little bit of myth busting because we have this ongoing discussion in our podcast that Peter says 50 pounds is 50 pounds if a bow has 50 pounds no matter which design and you shoot the same weight arrows you get the same performance out of it I got a nice longbow here. It has 42 pounds at 28. And then I will compare it to, this is the Sarazin by Lukas Navani. This one has 40, 42 at 28. So only a pound less. The Janissary has 45 at 28. And the KTB2 has 43. Short Manchu from uh, Cadiz bows, we got it from Saramat Archery and this bow has a 34 inch draw, 44 pounds. So this one I will draw in 34 inches to reach the same poundage. I shoot always the same arrows, I have three different kinds of arrows. And even the Jürgen has, why didn't I write it, has something same very similar in poundage but in a longer draw and this is what we simply do now i prepared three kinds of arrows they are of course all a bit too long for 28 inch draw but i draw i will use the same arrow so we can draw them longer we have 650 grains the pretty ones from fairborn netherlands they would be then roughly 15 grain considered heavy arrows these ones from alibo 550 grain, which would be 12 and a half grain, considered the beginning of heavy arrows. <coughs> and these ones are the they are 390 grain. They would be the nine grain, considered almost on the light. They are not really as a reference because usually they say even the longbows should be shot with 12 grain per pound. So we will focus on the what. Is, are these bows doing with these Alibo bows, which is the poundage wise then with 12 a half grain per pound. Oh, so now let's shoot the reference bow, the long bow by Sarmad Archery with 650 grain. I draw 28 inches, would be 15 grain per pound. 125 and it's not scientific, it's only to give me an idea of what's going on. 124, 123, so quite consistent, 124 foot per second, 550 grain, which would be now the, let's say, value, good value for this longbow, 12 and a half grain, 134. 134 and it's not about the top speed it's simply a comparison 131 hi my fingers I'm not used to three fingers and only to see what nine grain arrows would do 133 but we know that long bows like heavy arrows 135 so it's not much more if, even if, if, 136. So this is what I get out of the longbow in a 20. So, and of course in the morning I did my Korean bow not just this because I thought it's 43 pounds at 28, but this says 43 pounds at 31. So I need to shoot them again. Now we draw 31 inches, can happen. 31 inches. 139 with the heavy one, 650 grain. 149. 141, I will always take an average of the three shots, obviously. 550. 
152. We still talk about the same poundage as a longbow. 147. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hundred forty-two, and the lightweight ones, nine grain. Hundred fifty-one. Hundred forty-one. There was something wrong now, but hey. Yeah. Oh, 140. So, this is what I got an average out of the Korean bow. Now, next is the Janissary. It has 45 pounds, so I don't throw completely 28 inches, only 27 and a little bit. With the heavy ones. 147 and 9 grain and you see how little until here so 154 156 157 this is what I get out of the Chinese next on the list the Sarazen by Lukas Navalny I think I never shot this one 28 inches huh? three fingers let's see This one has 43 pounds of zinc, so should be fine with full draw. 135 with the heavy ones. 138. 150. 12.5 grain. 147, oops. 144. It goes slower. Ow, 147. And nine and a half grain. Oh, nine grain, I think, was nine grain. 156. 156, 154. So this is what I get with the Sarazen. The short Manchu from Sergei Tocholko. We got it from Summer Archery, but you can get it on Cadiz Bows too. It has at 34 inches, 44 pounds, I think I forgot now. And we shoot the heavy arrows and I draw 34 inches because this is what I draw with this bow anyway. What? So. 54, 159, 158, 171, 550, Again, I draw 34 inches. These arrows are 36, so I leave good two inches in front. One more even. 169. 
and 9 grain, which I consider for this bow way too light, but only to see what it does. Uh, oh, 164. Hundred seventy one oh, it feels really like dry firing. I shoot one more and then it's done. Uh, Hundred seventy eight is what you get with the uh, same poundage, only different design and longer draw. And the last one is the Jurchen by Sarmat Archery. It's this completely the same construction as the longbow was. So from the build this is almost similar, just has these little sears on them. Heavy arrows. 145, 152, 142, 550 grain would be 12 and a half. I think I don't even draw fully 35 inches. 153, 100 ops, 35, so always one, <laughs> so, and 139, 9 grain, tip loose, no, best. 151, So they get out of the same material bow and almost same length. As you see, both on the floor. The Jurchen is even longer, has way more mass in the limbs than the longbow. But they can draw this bow longer. Speed and weight of the arrow are one thing. Now we test the impact pie. I put a 6 cm foam target there and I shoot the three arrows with the longbow. The three heavy ones. Let me see how deep they go through. Of course, it's not scientific because this foam is maybe not completely same density everywhere, but you know, simply to get there. I should stop splitting my arrows. Oh, can you stop? I didn't want to shoot. <laughs> Check close. Uh, 550 grain. I need to shoot somewhere else. These errors are too tempting. So, there. That's always what you focus it. And if you think, I don't want to shoot this arrow, you look at the arrow, you focus at the arrow, and you shoot the arrow. And the lightweight ones. On the spine, maybe. So let's get the target. Yeah, I said the foam has not always the same density, but you can see here kind of eight inches the heavy ones. The medium heavy ones don't penetrate that much and the light ones even a little less one could say. So this and this and this is a 550 grain, this, this, this is 400 grain and this, this, this 650. Interesting. Let's shoot the Jurchen. Same poundage as the longbow but the arrow is longer in contact with the string. So the string has longer time the chance to give a little push to the arrow. Will it make a difference? I don't know. So focusing on the center. <laughs> Horrible. It's not a lot of this answer, but Alibo, five fifty. Did the 
this one hit there. And the lightweight. Nine grain. We shoot to the left. This one was inside there, came off. Now we see, yeah, roughly the same penetration power. Huh? This one went a little through, but it was very on the border, so I don't count this one. And this time, you don't see that much of a difference. So all the arrows are roughly in the same ballpark. So not the light ones are not that far in, and the heavy ones are further in interesting so they all roughly plus minus an inch the same not that big of a difference now we shoot and of course you all keyboard warriors i know and i'm aware of that the manchu design with these heavy long sears uh, comes effective into play what they say for bows above 80 pounds so i shoot a 40 pound most probably all this leverage and all this sear stuff doesn't have that much impact i'm aware of that so save the comments cut his bows with the heavy arrows and 34 inch draw i like this bow grain. I don't shoot the light net one maybe because this bow really really doesn't like the lightweight ones. 12.5 grain. One. Okay. One. Good. But it really feels like dry firing, so I don't want to do this to this bar. Same poundage, same arrow weights, same target, same distance, same everything. The heavy ones are here. The medium and the light ones are here. So in general, you can see overall a little more impact power and I guess it has to do that the string is longer on the arrow and can give the arrow simply more I don't know all this physics but give longer has more time to give energy to the arrow and this is the difference same power and this is not even a really effective manchu bow but has better penetration with the same poundage than the long bow this is what I wanted to state, I guess, and wanted to see for myself. So we saw now longer draw with the same poundage, give the arrow some kind of more penetration power. What is a Turkish bow doing at 28 inches in the same poundage with the same arrows? Oh, I don't know, let's find out. I don't draw completely fully because this bow is 45 pounds or 45 and a half, 44 and a half, so I want to not cheat so i don't draw complete for you always keep it fair it's not my intention at all to let the longbow look bad or something simply think that these ancient guys with their seers and all these constructions had an idea why they did it and i mean it's so complicated so if a simple longbow, oh, go away, fly. if a simple longbow would perform better, why would they do all this effort with sears and string bridges and stuff? So the um, 550 grains. Three 
390 grain. Nice book. There you see, same poundage on a different design bow and we end up roughly in the same penetration depth as the long bow, at least with the <laughs> Turkish bow. So the speed, we had more speed with the Turkish bow, didn't have that much impact on penetration power. It's interesting. It's not scientific. It's simply what I see now. Okay, it's completely don't don't please don't. Okay <laughs> Yes, you're right. Why should I not test the same now with the Sarazen my Lukas Navalny? Only 28 inches because then we have the same poundage and I shoot three fingers. So even the draw is not different from the longbow And this bow shoots three fingers 28 inches just nice even 15 grain arrows Twelve and a half grain. And no katra and nothing, you know. Simply letting go. And nine grain. So what do we see here? Roughly the same penetration power as the longbow in the same poundage. This one could be now, but interesting to see that again, doesn't matter the weight of the arrow to have a difference on the impact power. So in this regards, then of course it would make sense to see to shoot more lightweight arrows, you can shoot them further and they still have kind of the same impact power on armory or something as heavier arrows. So it's not only about having a heavy arrow. I mean, of course, on the other side, one inch here difference could be the difference between life and death. But just saying, yes, now we shoot the Korean too. <laughs> now let's see what the penetrator will say. 650 grain. more Korean style so. <laughs> 550 grain Grain. Oh, I missed. Uh, let's see. Oh, you, you, you. see kind of roughly same penetration depth as the longbow and again the difference of the arrow weights heavy 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 oh it's a wrong tip it's a bit lighter 
mid, 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 and these are the two light ones. So the two light ones penetrate the same way as the heavy ones. It's quite interesting. So you see, with the Korean bow you can shoot lightweight arrows and you have the same penetration power as you would have with the Korean bow and the heavy arrows. And you have more speed. So in conclusion, I guess they are just simply better than a normal longbow better performing but what little do I know I only show you what I shot not scientific at all obviously so I hope you found that a little bit interesting I did so I didn't want to prove anything against anything I simply wanted to see if it's really true that in this case 43 pounds are 43 pounds throughout all bow designs and draw length and we could see at least I could see there a slight difference when I draw this one same poundage as the longbow but a draw longer performs differently with the same weight arrows so not scientific as simply my friday morning test because i had nothing else to do <laughs> so i hope you found it interesting if yes please leave me a comment and a like if not you can even put thumbs down if you want it i can't stop you i mean we have i have one fan in america he has i think two three youtube accounts and in a moment i upload a video he directly logs in one gives me thumbs down logs in the next gives me thumbs down and the third one gives me thumbs down because he has nothing else to do but it's fine by me too you know you still do some traffic for me master archer thank you very much for watching i'll catch you in the next one